Hello everyone, welcome to this OER video tutorial, Open Educational Resource video tutorial. Going on with the course, we will know the process to assign an open license. Here we see an instance. On this slide you can see at the bottom an example of a signature near the equivalent license. First of all, we must know the author and the license assigned to the work we use. An open license is not automatic. We must add data to create the license by ourselves. Therefore, what we must solve is the following. How can you add an open license to your work? Well, to do this, I show you a few slides to explain the process and then we will do it in real time. First, we must access to the following link, creativecommon.org slash choose. Below, we can see a page where we must choose the options in the left side that best treat us according to the type of license that we are interested in. First, we need to answer the question if we want to allow the adaptation of our work to be shared and second, if we want to allow commercial use of our work. And depending on the parameter chosen, we can see that the samples that will form our final license are different. So for this case, we have answered yes to both questions and this will be the final combination and it is also created automatically so on the right side of this slide we show the option to indicate to the users who reuse this material how to build the signature the result is as follow then this will be the creative commons license that will have the material therefore an instance of is this slide in which in the footer we add the license and the equivalent icons the same could be done with the creative when we create a document and then we add at the bottom of the page the Creative Commons signature. So we indicate how the user who is viewing this material can use the content and at the same time we tell him that the way of referring and therefore attributing the merit of having created the content would be with the following test. And something important, you don't have to use the chooser every time, once you have one open license you can use it on future documents. So now let's look at the case study. I will teach you in real time that what I have explained is true. And for then, we go to the Creating Commons page itself. Well, this is the main page and you can find in it not only news, but also has Creative Commons resource linked. And this is and, and that is, you can use it in your material. They are classified by categories. But in this case, what interested us is how to integrate, how to generate our license. For this, we go to the menu at the top where it indicates share your work. Once we click, we see the page on, of the assistant. We click now on get started. We will not explain now the different options, but if we check that according to the chosen parameters, the symbol that configure the license adapts to the chosen configuration. In addition, we can see how our own signature would be created, which is the license to indicate our users. Here. We can fill this form and in real time the signature is being generated. For example, and also we can add an example of URL. And here we are. And we can even see this HTML code that allow us to insert it on the web or in our blog. In this way, the author of the content can be indicated at any point we use it. Therefore, thousands of facilities on only one web page, in this case Creative Commons. And this has been all for now. I hope this short video of OER resource encouraged you to share. Remember to like if the video has been interesting for you. 
and add your comments and questions to enrich the channel with more content. It's up to you.